We're just on the way to Art of Juice, which does a vegan buffet. And yeah, first, what we're gonna do is go and get ourselves some watermelon to break the fast with. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I eat in a day rather than what I do in a day like I've normally been doing recently. So yeah, this place has a wide array of amazing different fruits, as you can see here. But yeah, I'm craving watermelon. So yeah, we're going for the watermelon. So we just arrived at Art of Juice. This buffet is 150 baht, it's really, really cheap. Yeah, this place is quite cozy, nice and basic, pretty nice. And yeah, we're the first people here because the buffet is just starting. And if you look here, they do brown rice, white rice, tofu with tomato, I'm not into tofu so we won't have that. Kale with pineapple, broccoli, bell pepper. We've got something going on here, I'm not sure what that is. We've got fried veggies, we've got some salad material as well. I'm not going to show you me eating much of this. This is a really good red watermelon, as you can tell by the deep dark colour, rather than being like a pale pink colour. It's hardly got any sugar in And yeah, I normally go to one land eating centre. They said yesterday, for two weeks, no one that eats stay in there for the retreats can eat there for two weeks. Which is not good because it's my favourite place, but oh well, we just have to go to different places like Art of Juice. So yeah, if you haven't seen me at one land eating centre before, I'd recommend you check the video out by clicking here. Days later. So that's it, one half done, that's all I want. And yeah, might go to one or two more restaurants afterwards. We see what one. But yeah, definitely gonna go to Lake Organics for ice cream. Apparently it's the best ice cream around that's vegan, so yeah, I look forward to that. So we've got a plate of white rice, we've got broccoli here, carrot, red pepper, yellow pepper, broccoli and pineapple and a few other different things as well. Some of my friends are meant to be here, but I'm not sure where they are, who knows. And what I say is, every time I eat watermelon, I wait about five or 10 minutes to let it digest any other food, because otherwise, it can slow down the digestion of the watermelon eat other food with it, and then it will ferment, rot, and putrefy, and cause you to have gas and bloating, it cause diarrhea and stuff like that as well. So you really don't want to be eating watermelon with other foods. So I've always eat watermelon alone, or leave it alone. I do have some friends. I'm not gonna just eat on my own. There's lovely, lovely Abby, which you've seen before. And we got a new friend as well. Right. So yeah, we finished first plate. Now we've got a second plate. And then Abby is eating raw again. He's got loads of mangoes and he's doing one meal a day on fruit. Loads yeah, of lovely, lovely, day, lovely but... mangoes for today. And I love the new friend as well. She's got this food. She's got some of the fried vegetables as well. Looking good. Hey, talk mangoes. Best way to eat them. Like a fruit pro. <laughs> so our new friend Josh is just moving into us. He just got this mm, one loads of rice and root, mixed root. veg, yeah. some tofu. Nice. Nice big plate. And you haven't ate much today, correct? Had a watermelon and probably like six bananas. Yeah. So now you're gonna coconuts. Yeah. Well, coconut water. I didn't have any yeah. So now it's some time for some dense calories. Here we get to the end of this plate as well now. I'm going to show you the whole time because the same food is not so great. Yeah, this food's quite nice. It's just plain. Uh, it's got some sort of like Chinese style sauce on it, but yeah. It feels pretty, pretty good. We're going to try this fried vegetable thing. I'm not into fried things. We've got this chilli sauce on it. I'm not really into chilli sauce. <laughs> Let me see what Wow. Yeah, very, very spicy chili sauce. Yeah, very all it is expected because it's fried. But yeah, tuna set on feet is quite good, but yeah, I'm eating any more of these. Ordered a dish and dish alongside the buffet food. It's like a mushroom, burger, and chia batter thing. Tastes pretty damn good to me. Oh so yeah, this is definitely a win win. That's done now. Still feeling no in here. Pull it off. 
So yeah, we're definitely gonna go somewhere else next. We just left the restaurant and we're gonna go to Lec Organics, get some ice cream, hopefully we can take it away. We'll go back to where my friends are, but yeah, we're just walking down the road, barefoot with no top on. And yeah, I haven't tried this before, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Vegan ice cream and sorbets, no refined sugar, whole food product. Vegan, completely cruelty free, free of food allergens. And yeah, they normally do as well. Carrot cakes and donuts and blueberry muffins and most of them hiding, but yeah, I also have got a blueberry muffin and they have, so there we go. And yeah, they also do some pretty cool chocolates, homemade probiotic vegan yogurt. Super food as well. So yeah, we're now on the way back and what I say is the scoop size is really really small and it's not the cheapest and I have been to so many places in Thailand for vegan ice cream. Smallest scoop sizes ever and costs one of the most as well. So yeah, it's a shame but oh well. I just won't get it from there again because that is quite overly priced and a bit of a rip off in my opinion. But yeah, let's see how it is in a second shall we. So we've got coconut ice cream in there, vanilla ice cream. Blueberry muffin. Then we got rainbow ice cream. Looks like mango, blackberry, two other two flavors, and I'm not sure what the other flavor is. Soon find out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely one of these coconut ice creams. Mm. The vanilla one's absolutely amazing. Wow, right? These do cost a lot, but these are really worth it. Mm. Mm. That's a strawberry one. That one's good, but nowhere near as good as the other one. It tastes a little bit odd, Then we've got this rainbow one. There's all different types of things in there. That is good. Well, let me try the muffin. Mm. Let's try it with ice cream as well. These are definitely worth it, so yeah, thumbs up from me. So just some ice cream. Maybe if I can testify that, but we will go somewhere else after. Yeah, I think it's going to be the garden. So the famous Michelle, the star of the show, has turned up. Where have you been? They've been missing you. God, you slacker. You're meant to be on camera today. <laughs> what are you having, Michelle? I have a banana smoothie with spirulina and avocado. And you made that yourself, didn't you? Yeah, nice. Good girl. And then Olive. As I call him, our lovely friend here. He's in psychedelic trance. He's he's eating some food. What have you got there? Like vegetables, I guess. Yeah. Cedar, steam, boiled, and rice. Yeah, nice. And some fried vegetables as well. Yeah, we've arrived at a garden where we left our friends because they're taking ages to eat. I've been sitting there patiently, but I am so hungry still. Seems like I've ate a lot, but yeah, I didn't eat much last night compared to normal, so yeah, I'm extra, extra hungry today. They ran out of the coconut ice cream, only got the chocolate one, not really chocolate, but we will try it in a minute. And um, we got apple and walnut cake as well. And yeah, we got a massive man curry on the way and a vegan burger. Mm. That walnut cake tastes amazing. Chocolate ice cream, yeah, well too chocolate. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Okay. yeah. Friends have reappeared 
again. Um, Abby's eating sweet potato, fries, crisps, whatever they are. And um, no one, our friend over there, he's ordered a massive man curry. And yeah, it's one of the best massive man curries I've definitely ever had. So yeah, really great Agama, 10 out of 10. What did you order? I discussed in the chart today. You have to try this beef and chocolate cake, guys. Yeah, man. Believe me. <laughs> Bomb. Yeah. Johnny can be to get beat room cake. They one it's not so because so I want it. It's because they, do. they want it. So I reckon they should buy it. Have that as well. Yeah. 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 Just so I can have a bite. <laughs> He's got some beetroot cake over here. Apparently, it's very big, rich, and dense. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna quickly try some, see what it's like. Yeah, for sure you have. Yeah. Whoa! How amazing is that? Jesus! That's too much for me. What is that made of? Those, I thought I bought dense cakes the other day. This is something else. I really don't like chocolate, so I really don't like that. <laughs> you gonna sleep, Michelle? I'm not eating any of that. Why? Because I won't sleep. Why? Because there's cacao in Krakow? Yeah. <laughs> They're eating chocolate ice cream. He's not gonna sleep. Well, I'll probably, no, I'll sleep. I've, I've eaten a lot. <laughs> I'm talking about chocolate ice cream, that chocolate cake is so strong in my mouth. But she's going for meditation. I ain't meditating after all this food. The chocolate cake was so chocolatey, and now this chocolate ice cream tastes like coconut. The last few days, there's been a lot of mishaps with me in foods. It's like we're out of one restaurant, it's not so good, then another one, and another one. Like, it's been happening a lot recently. A bit annoying when you only eat one meal a day, but oh well, such is life. Sometimes you can't avoid this type of thing happening from occurring. It's finally done around 8.30, quite late finishing, but oh well, yeah, it's all good. So I forgot to record the last part to end it. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to see what I ate in a day in multiple different restaurants in Koh Phangan, Thailand. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more what I eat in a day videos on my one meal a day journey, what I do within a day, calisthenics, workout videos, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to eat a healthier diet that can improve your health and daily intermittent fast as well. And many other different benefits from watching my videos to help you go in the direction of sustaining and maintaining the highest energy levels possible and obtaining the fitness goals that you desire and the dream body as well. So if those type of videos sound good, you make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming every single week so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace